Well, so today I'm going to show you how to draw a cow skull. This is a Georgia O'Keeffe inspired uh, drawing that I'll be showing you. So to begin, you want to draw a line coming down. You can curve it slightly. And then you want to create the letter M, making sure to bring that M to your line. And underneath your M, connect it with a W. This is creating the nostril of your skull. So you can go ahead and co color this in, the nose or nostril. This is basically where the snout would be on the cow. But what you see, it's a skull. So you're seeing the underbone. So at the top, you want to draw a line that comes just slightly curved, but comes down and then curves back up. And then you want to create two ovals, one on each side. These are your eye sockets. And you'll go ahead and color those in as well. Okay, so you have your eyes, your nostril, the top of your skull, and then I'm gonna show you how to connect that. So you're gonna take this line, bring it in and around to touch your eye. Do the same thing, you're bringing it in and around to touch the eye. Down here, you're gonna create a curve that kind of follows your W but then you're gonna connect the bottom of your eye to that W, like this, and do the same thing on this side. So this is making it so our skull is starting to take shape. So from here, you can create your horns. You can curve them up, down, it's up to you. I'm gonna go ahead and curve mine up. So I'm gonna use a, kinda like the letter C and then a backward C, and then I'm gonna bring that back and around, almost like you're making a moon, like a crescent moon. And you can see I now have my cow skull's horns. Uh, you can create some texture in your skull because uh, often there are little cracks and stuff, so if you want, using just some wiggly lines, add some of those cracks here and there. And this is just gives your skull a little bit more texture. Uh, same thing, you could add some cracks and lines to your horns to give it some texture. So my skull is pretty much done. The second part of this drawing to make our skull pop out is to add a background using patterns. So I'm gonna keep it simple just because I want to um, keep this video short, but to save on time, I'm gonna draw my patterns with marker. That way I really don't have to add a lot of color, but you can use crayons. You could still use a black marker and then color in your patterns. So I'm gonna create patterns in the background using different colored markers. So I'm gonna use different lines, And this is gonna make for a really interesting piece. It's gonna also make my skull pop and stand out more. So I'm using a zigzag line. And now I'm gonna switch and use some purple. Make some polka dots. Add some zigzag lines. Maybe a wavy line. Could add swirls. Okay, switch colors again because I really want my background to be nice and colorful. So 
So I'm going to add another straight line here. Maybe, let's see, some stars. So remember for it to be a pattern, you want to create this repetition. So I have all these different lines and shapes and that's creating these different patterns and designs because that line is continuing across my paper, just like the polka dots are continuing across my paper. So that continuation creates that pattern. It also makes our skull stand out. So I'm gonna use some red now. And I might use, we call this the castle line. Just make some X's. Another straight line going across. Maybe some vertical lines filling up this area. And what this does is it just helps my skull to stand out more because I'm using all these colors in the background. So the more colors I use, the more my skull is gonna stand out because my skull is just black and white. All right, so that's really uh, all you need to know for the skull drawing. It's a great way to draw from observation, especially if you look up um, some of Georgia O'Keeffe's work. And in class, what I do is I actually have a cow skull that I pull out and I'll let students look at and then draw from observation. But this is just a fun, simple project for drawing something kind of unique and different and starting to think about ways you can add texture using lines and how you can break stuff down into shapes and how pattern really helps things to stand out when you use it as a background. So I hope you enjoy this lesson and you're doing well. Take care. Bye.